Hey, what's going on? Aaron Chen, I hope you are doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be checking out Lazada, okay? And you might be trying to figure out how can you actually sell products on Lazada? How do you make money on Lazada? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I always come up with content that will teach you how to create more freedom using the power of the internet. So consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed, okay? Now, if you're one of my regular subscribers, uh, you might not be familiar with Lazada. This is actually a very big platform in Southeast Asia. It's kind of like Amazon, okay? So you can kind of come on here um, and this is, you know, I'm based in Malaysia, so this is where we buy most of our stuff. So this is kind of the Amazon of Asia, right? Uh, and if you're watching this somewhere in Asia and you're looking for a way to sell on Lazada, you're like, Aaron, how can I make some money on Lazada? How can I make money online? How can I get into a little bit of drop shipping and e-commerce? I'm gonna show you how to do that, all right? So it's really, really simple. All you do is, is you come onto Lazada, all right? And on the top of Lazada, you'll see this little button here that says sell on Lazada, all right? Now, the cool thing about Lazada is that Lazada is a fairly quote unquote new platform, all right? So it's not as old as Amazon. Amazon is obviously the, you know, the 300 pound gorilla of the e-commerce world. Lazada is actually a copycat of Amazon for Asia, okay? Uh, now, even though Lazada has been around for quite a while now, they're still allowing new sellers to come onto that platform for free, which is amazing. That means that if you wanted to, you could start your own store on Lazada, leverage all of their supply chains, leverage their demand, leverage their supply, and just you know leverage all their eyeballs and basically sell whatever product you want on Lazada. Um, and you can you know pr pretty much do that for free. Check that out. You know it's it's um you know at the time of recording this video, um, it's still considered free, which is really really amazing. Okay, so you can just leverage them, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And stick around till the end of your of the video because I'm going to show you how to 10x that and make even more money, and I'm gonna show you how I do that every single day, okay? So um, Lazada is very simple. So what you do is, is you come to the top, you register as basically a seller, okay? You create a seller account, you upload your products, and then you literally sell, and then you earn money. Now, this is how this actually works, right? So right now, because Lazada is still quote unquote fairly new, what they're trying to do is they're trying to attract as many distributors or as many sellers as possible to their platform, all right? The more sellers they have, the more product they have, a better website they become for people all over Asia that wanna buy through e-commerce. That's exactly how it works, right? Maybe in the future they might start to charge. I mean, on Amazon, if you were to sell products on Amazon, because you're leveraging their platform, it's called Amazon FBA, okay, fulfillment by Amazon, you have to pay quite a lot of fees and it can get quite expensive and tricky to market on Amazon. Uh, and so on Lazada, it's, it's still really kind of like the jungle, right? It's early days. So I'm gonna show you how to do this, okay? So once you register for your account, what you really wanna do is, is you wanna sell normal everyday stuff. You know, you don't wanna sell um, stuff that's too complicated. You wanna sell stuff that people wanna buy all the time. So it could be like, you know, kitchen stuff, very simple stuff like, you know, maybe um, it's, it's a can opener, or you know, it might be something for your cat. You know, it's stuff that people need all the time, like a dog bowl, for example, right? So dog bowl, okay. Um, and you're gonna see when you search for something like dog bowl, you're gonna come up with a whole bunch of dog bowls, right? Look at this one. You know, um, stainless steel feeding bowl, right? So something very, very simple like this. So for example, you know, you would look for stuff that is pretty popular. Like if you look at this one, it's got you know 51 reviews, right? And it's a very simple, it's just a metal bowl. It's a metal, you know, dog bowl, cat bowl. And this one is um, is also a, a slightly nicer glass cat bowl, right? It's, there's, there's 30 reviews here. But again, it's not that expensive, right? So this one's only 345. And this one is 18 ringgit and 90 cents, okay? Now, let's just say you decided that you wanted to specialize in the pet section, the pet niche. And, and that's what you want to do. Every time you sell product online, you don't want to go wide, okay? You want to go narrow. You want to go as narrow as you can because when you specialize, that's how you can get really good at selling that particular product. So um, if you wanted to get really good at kitchen uh, you know, appliances or kitchen equipment, that's what I would do. If you wanted to get really good at the pet niche, I would just focus very deep into the pet niche and just sell all pet stuff, okay? So it's just very focused. So let's just say you wanted to sell this particular cat bowl, right? So, um, you know, cat, dog, kuching, food, water, double bowl, okay? <laughs> and uh, what you would do is, is you would need to first find the product that you can sell. Okay, now there's two places you can do that. You can go to Alibaba, uh, but the problem with Alibaba is you have to buy in bulk, okay? Or you can go to AliExpress, all right? Now, AliExpress is cool because AliExpress allows you to buy in, excuse me, individual products at a cheaper price, right? So if I was to come to AliExpress and I would type out cat bowl, all right? Let's see if I can find the same cat bowl. Okay, I might, I may or may not be able to, all right? So um, let's just scroll down here. Yeah, you see it here, right? Look, look at this. This is pretty much the same cat bowl. 
See that? It's actually the, exactly the same. It's got glass over there and it's got the, the little white stand. And over here, it's the same thing. It's glass and the white stand. Look at this. It's 63 cents US. So let's do the calculation in ringgit. 0 0.63 times 4.1. It's going to cost you 2 ringgit and 58 cents to buy this cat bowl. So basically what you would do is you would open up your store, you would register as a seller on Lazada. And what happens is, um, you know, your your and, and this is the only problem, and I'll tell I'll talk about the pros and cons in a second, right? But when somebody finds your ad on Lazada for a pet bowl, they will click on it, and when they buy, your store will be informed that somebody wants to buy this cat bowl. Okay. Now, once somebody buys the cat bowl or the dog bowl, what you do is is in the background, um, you come onto somewhere like AliExpress, you find the exact same cat bowl and you buy it for $2.50. So basically what happened here is over here, you're charging someone $18.90, right? And the cat bowl cost $2.50. So how much money did you actually make? Well, $18.90, $18.90 minus $2.50, you made 16 ringgit and 40 cents. That's not bad, okay? And you're, you're doing this for free, okay? So it, basically what happens here is on AliExpress, when you buy this cat bowl, you basically put in your customer's mailing details, not your details because you want them to mail it directly to your customer. So if you live in Malaysia and your customer buys this and they live in you know, Bangsa, for example, or Mount Kiara or PJ or whatever, right? You basically buy the bowl for them in the background on AliExpress. You put in their email, their uh, details, you know, Martin Ong or whatever it is, who lives in SS2 in PJ, right? Um, and then you basically buy the bowl for $2.50, which is 63 US dollars, and they mail it directly and you make the difference, okay? So for every bowl, you're profiting, in this particular example, 16 ringgit and 40 cents. Not too bad, okay? And basically what you're doing here is you're leveraging Lazada's platform. That's all you're doing, right? Right now, you don't have to pay anything to Lazada. And even if they did charge you a little bit, let's just say they charged you 1% or 2%, I'm not sure what they're gonna do in the future, you're still very much in profit. That's why it's actually not a very difficult thing to do, right? So let's just say your profit is, um, you know, let's just say it's 15 ringgit for every bowl that you sell, right? What is your income goal? Let's say your income goal is 10,000 ringgit per month. If you divide that by 15, it means that you would have to make 666 sales every single month. Not impossible, but again, you know, 666 sales is, is quite a lot, but it's better than not doing anything, right? So a lot of people think it's very difficult to make money online. It's not when you understand how. So if you want to sell on Lazada, it's pretty much as simple as that, okay? It's really, really not that complicated because you don't have to do any of the heavy lifting. All you're doing is you're doing the marketing on the front end, you're sourcing the right products, and you're letting Lazada do a lot of the heavy lifting by getting the eyeballs <clears throat> to their website and you just be one of their sellers, okay? Now here are the pros and cons of selling on Lazada. The pros are, is that first of all, at this current time, it's free, okay? And it's very easy to do and it's very easy to get into a little bit of profit, all right? Now here are some of the cons, here are some of the disadvantages. Some of the disadvantages are, it is quite difficult to get high rankings. That means that if you wanted to rank for this particular keyword phrase, dog bowl, or pet bowl or kuching bowl or whatever it is, right? There are a lot of people that already have the high rankings. So basically the way it works on, um, you know, when people shop online is they will usually buy stuff that's on the first page, okay? And they'll look at the price and they'll look at the reviews and stuff like that. So if you don't have any reviews, usually it's a little bit more difficult for people to trust that you're a good seller and they may not click on your particular ad, okay? Or your particular placement. Also, if you don't have a good ranking, and you're ranking on like, if you come down here, right? If you're ranking on like page five, it's very unlikely that people are gonna find your stuff, which can be a big disadvantage, right? So it does take time for you to get good rankings on Lazada. So that's one of the, the that's one of the, the, the disadvantages. Another disadvantage is you're selling in ringgit, okay? So basically, if you wanna make 10,000 ringgit per month, which is not that much money, especially in the online world, you know, you're, you, ha you have to sell a lot of product. You have to sell like, 500 units per month, you have to sell 1,000 units per month, 2,000 units per month. Now that's a lot of sales that you have to make. Let, let's think about this, right? If you wanna make uh, 1,000 sales, divide that by 31 days, that means that you have to make 32 sales online every single day. That's quite difficult, okay? And you make, you're make you making money in Ringgit because if you live in Malaysia, uh, you know, if you're on Lazada or you live in Thailand or you live in Indonesia, you're not making that much money. If you live in Singapore, then yes, you might make a little bit more money because the Singaporean currency is quite strong. But if you're making ringgit, you know, 10,000 ringgit is not that much money. I mean, it's better than most jobs, you know, in our country, but it's still not that much money, right? What you wanna do is you wanna earn in US dollar 
and you want to be able to hit your big income goals without having to make 500 sales a month, a thousand sales a month, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in a minute, right? But this is a good way to get started, right? So if you're like, Aaron, how do I start making money on Lazada? It's actually very easy. It's not that difficult. Now, there are obviously different strategies that you can implement to get higher rankings on the actual Lazada channels. I'm not going to cover that today, but just understand that it does take a bit of time because your product listing has to be up there for a little while before people buy and they get re and you get reviews and then, you know, Lazada will give you better rankings as people click on your on your placements and your listings more and you get more reviews and that sort of thing so that it does take time, okay? So, that's how you sell on Lazada. It's not difficult at all. It's a great place to start because it's free and you can actually get into quite a lot of profit and you can leverage, you know, cheap other e-commerce websites like AliExpress to kind of leverage that. And this is really called drop shipping, okay? Without having to own your own online store, you can leverage Lazada because they've done all the hard work building their brand, hiring their staff. You know, everybody in Malaysia buys on Lazada. I mean, they've got millions and millions of sales every single day, okay? But I'm gonna show you a really, really cool way right now where you can make like 50 times more than that, okay? Um, and this is how I make money every single day, all right? so. I've been marketing online for the last 12 years. I don't sell in Malaysia, I sell to the world, okay? Now, a lot of people don't know this, especially Malaysians, because I think in Malaysia, this, this industry is still very, very new, uh, but I've been doing this since 2009, so 12 plus years, right? Um, there's, there's a better way to sell online. Now, if you sell on Lazada, you're selling physical products, right? So check this out, right? You're selling a, a cat bowl, okay? Or maybe you're selling you know, a dog bowl, or maybe you're selling you know, whatever it is, you can sell um, you know, like uh, a cat spray, for example, right? This is a cat spray that I use. I actually bought it on Lazada, or maybe it's not here right now. Uh, but anyway, it's a cat spray that allows you to keep your cats, you know, that stops them from peeing on stuff like that. I bought it on Lazada, okay? Now, instead of selling something physical, you can also sell stuff that's digital. That means you can sell digital courses, right? Somebody downloads the course. If they want to learn to train their dogs, to stop them from peeing on the carpet. They need, they need information, right? So they need to get that information, okay? And there are websites that will allow you to sell courses. You can sell, tell people how to, you can teach people how to make money online. You can teach people how to run faster. You can teach people how to lose weight. You can teach people how to fall in love. You can teach people how to, you know, improve their relationships. You can teach people how to sleep better. Do you know what I mean? There's, information is so powerful in this day and age and people are willing to pay good money to buy those things, right? Now, there are networks like Lazada out there, okay? But they sell digital courses. Now, one of those websites is ClickBank. I've been using ClickBank for a long time. Now, if you come onto ClickBank, basically this is an American company and they sell thousands of products in the information space. That means you're not selling a physical item. You're not selling like a calculator anymore, right? You're selling information, okay? Somebody is willing to pay good information to learn how to solve a problem that they have. They wanna learn how to lose weight. They want to learn how to get rid of their diabetes. They want to learn how to stop, uh, you know, their feet from itching at night. They want to learn how to fall in love. They want to learn how to make money online. They want to learn how to invest in cryptocurrency, right? They're willing to pay for that information, okay? So you can check out ClickBank and they sell a whole host of different products online. Now, the goal here is to find a product that people want and you want to find the, the people that want that product and all you're doing is you're connecting them together. Okay, and when you connect them together, you make a sale, you generate a commission through networks like ClickBank. By the way, ClickBank is one of many, many networks all over the world that will allow you to pick products from them and sell them for free. So you make a commission on the sale. So for example, if you sold a product on ClickBank for 500 US dollars, everything is in USD, that's another benefit, right? You might make 50% commission. So divide that by two, you make $250. I don't know if you can see that, right? And if you multiply that by four, if you live in Malaysia times 4.1 actually currently, you just made 1,025 ringgit selling that one product, okay? So it's a lot easier to hit your big income goals. Now, you don't have to sell 666 products like I showed you earlier. You just need to sell 10 products a month to make 10,000 ringgit. Sounds pretty easy, right? Again. This is a skill that you can master and this is something that I've mastered over time. Now I wanna show you this, okay? So here's what I do. Every single day, what I do is, is I pick products online, obviously, uh, and I market to the world. I sell to everyone, okay? I don't just sell to Malaysia. I don't just sell to Singapore or Thailand or Indonesia. I sell to the US. I sell to Canada. I sell to Australia, New Zealand. I sell to Thailand. I sell to Shanghai. I sell to, you know, Brisbane. I sell to South America. I sell to all of Europe, okay? I sell to Africa. Literally, I sell to people all over the world. And that's the beauty when you understand how to do this type of online selling 
properly. It's called affiliate marketing, okay? Now, let me show you some of the proof that I've made, right? This is one pro program that I sell. It's called 4%. It's an online training program. It teaches people how to market online, right? So this is not my product. This is somebody else's product. It's a digital training course, right? This is how much I've made just with this one program alone. I sell multiple programs online, okay? This is all in US dollars because everything in affiliate marketing is done in USD, right? 94,244 US dollars. Let's calculate that, right? 94,244 times 4.1 uh, is a conversion rate to ringgit. With this specific product alone, I've made 386,400 ringgit and 40 cents. Think about that for a second. Where can you make that kind of money in Malaysia? You can't, right? So this is what's possible when you understand how to market online properly. It's not difficult, you just have to learn how to do it properly. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So if you got some value from this video, guys, wherever you are, it doesn't matter if you're living in Malaysia or you're living you know, in different parts of the world, I wanna show you how to do this stuff because it's, it's pretty cool stuff, okay? So first of all, if you wanna start selling on Lazada, it's really, really easy, okay? I hope you got some value from this video. Let me know what some of your questions are below. If you got some value, give me some thumbs ups on this video right now, would really appreciate it, okay? So again, you can just come to Lazada, click on Lazada. Now, if you wanna learn how to do what I'm doing right now, where I'm making US dollars, every single day. I'm selling to the world, not just within my country. And you want to sell on programs like ClickBank or JVZoo or Warrior Plus or Digistore24, or you want to sell other marketers products like I did over here, I would love to show you how to do that. All you need to do is just uh, get on my free workshop. Just click the link directly below this video in the comment section. If you're on your mobile device, click on the arrow on the right hand side on the next page, enter your best email address, okay? And then check your email because that's where I sent this free workshop to. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this. How did I make $94,000, okay? Just with one program. I sell quite a lot of these programs uh, and courses and training programs all over the world, right? Um, and this is just one of them. How can you do that? How can you replicate that if that's something that you would like to learn how to do, all right? So listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you go out there and crush it on Lazada. If you would like to learn how to do this, I hope to see you in the workshop. Take care and all the best to you.